Hi guys, welcome to this very quick video about the combined order book of Bitcoin. I've been showing this to you in the last couple of days and I uh, think I somehow have been misinterpreting uh, this picture because yeah I had always a little bit mixed feelings about that I mean when Bitcoin was going up I was always a little bit worried about the amount of cells here which you see on the right side and but I have seen this many times uh, yesterday when it was going down I have seen many buys which made me a little bit confident about that it could bounce back from uh, about uh, 9700 I have show, been showing this to you yesterday here we have the picture of yesterday when it was going down and I was showing you the buy walls especially at 9998 and so on and I was confident that Bitcoin could uh, bounce back again what it really did overnight but in general this is what I think now that it is exactly I mean the amount of orders on one side represents actually more the trend from the other side and I mean uh, yeah I'll put down the trend like this so now at the moment it is moving from left to right the price I mean the price is going up so I switch the picture now so you can see the price here on the knees and yeah we have seen uh, it's coming up now now it's about 8, uh, 10,800 it's going in this direction and this is what I think now that people are always focusing on the target so now when it's going up most of the people see the target on this side and this are higher prices and that means uh, create sales here so here we have the target and people are expecting that price will go up so what do do, do they do or at least some of them they are thinking of okay it's time to take profit where will I take profit will I take profit at 11k uh, 11 5 12,000 13,000 and so on and they are starting to place orders here but at the same time not so much on the downside I mean when there is no action expected to this direction so nobody is placing orders here and uh, yeah it doesn't mean that we wouldn't have support here just at the moment when as long as nobody's expecting that it goes down so when, when nobody's expecting that uh, then nobody's placing uh, orders here it's just uh, psychology or I mean yeah it's just uh, the representation of the anticipation what yeah just what, what people expect so they are expecting action here so they are placing orders here and of course these are mean sell orders but it doesn't mean that a uh, huge amount of people will just sell for every price they want to just make profit and that's the reason why we have now more volume here compared to a flatter line here so I think this is what is happening now and of course not only now I think I have seen this almost every time so it doesn't surprise me now seeing the same thing and here you can see we have here especially when you see at the end we see more but also on every uh, price level but not only uh, here at these levels here on the top but also on uh, low, lower levels uh, we can see these let's see uh, yeah I mean the biggest thing which we have here this GDAX and we can see that there are definitely more orders on the right side and this is the case for almost every exchange the thing what I have to say, uh, tell you about 
these uh, exchanges of course the uh, they do not represent the largest exchanges i don't know why they are not here uh, like binance is not here a bitmex is not here uh, Coinbase is not here, a lot of large exchanges are not here, but as you can see, usually it's not a big difference between the exchanges. They have about uh, same thing, only uh, yeah, with Gemini we see now more orders on the buying side. Maybe it's a little bit shifting uh, yeah, to this side, as we can see it's a little bit building up here on this side again i think we didn't see this couple of minutes ago uh, so it's a little bit building up the buy walls or building up maybe it's a little bit going down now i'll check that so that have been uh, really crazy five or ten minutes i was just a little bit watching i couldn't record everything unfortunately but you can see here we st I started the video and it was going up. It was in a positive uh, mood. And then in a sudden we saw this uh, thing on GDAX. You remember we saw this GDAX uh, volume on the downside uh, building up. And at this moment it was still in buy. I was thinking, okay, that was just uh, like a, a fake uh, volume building up. What was that? And in a sudden it started to drop. And, and yeah, and the overall volume here on the left side, it built up huge. I mean, it went crazy up because obviously people really anticipated that it will go down you see this thing on this five minute candle it dropped within seconds almost 100 dollar but it uh, recovered then uh, but it looks like this was really a super early indicator on GDAX when the when the volume uh, built up on the downside so it looks uh, like at least at the moment we have a really good early indicator when GDAX is building up on the uh, downside so people are expecting it to go down doesn't mean that it will always be uh, at the moment but it was really we had a similar picture here when I started the video much more volume on the upside and then in the sudden GDAX built up volume on the downside this is crazy I mean it really absolutely confirmed the thing which I was uh, explaining what I see here and it looks like GDAX is the leading thing at the moment but yeah definitely doesn't have always to be like this especially uh, we are missing uh, some exchanges here but at least looks with GDAX we have a good indicator here so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and yeah maybe you have total different impression about the combined order book or additional information would be awesome if you could share us with you just leave anything in the feedback area always happy to talk about these things and learn new stuff and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time